Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 82 to 83. Let's go ahead and get started. Ugh. So it has to be him, right? I just forgot his name. Prison is depressing. The longer I'm here, the louder my thoughts get. Hell, even I'm not a fan of this form of torture. I can barely get a wink of sleep. But when I do, I see you. You're always there. Engulfing me with your warmth. I don't know who you are, but you make me feel at peace. Quite an odd feeling, really. But I don't hate it. I'm not religious, but are you God? Are you here to leave me a sign? Guide me? Either ways, I wish I could see what you look like. Huh. <laughs> I wish I could stay like this forever. It really isn't so bad. God, you probably are not a fan of me. But no one's perfect, so don't give up on me. And if it's possible, take me away from here. Ugh, I'll be waiting. What took you guys so long? Though, I didn't expect you to come back so soon, let alone come back at all. It's only been 15 minutes. Still, felt like forever without you. So what did you find out? <laughs> Nothing at all. You were at the man's office. No one but his goons are allowed there. Adon is very careful about everything, but I know what he's up to. Two can't be good. Wow, I'm shocked. That's totally shocking. God, I'm starting to feel sick of the bad boss trope. By the way, you're the one. You're one of the flower-infected people, right? Don't you have like powers to help you or whatever? You know, like invisibility or teleportation to teleport yourself away from here. I can't do that. Then what can you do? <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you're a de defect. Shit, I've always wondered if a powerless infected is possible. I didn't think they would be true. You're being awful quiet over there. Did I guess it right? Yikes, buddy. I'll comfort you, but that's just pathetic. You jumped to conclusions and confirmed your own theories yourself. Even I would be speechless. Yeah, I do that a lot, and I'm usually 99.9% .9 correct. But if that's not really the case, I really don't care. People with a brain survive longer than those with a bronze anyways. But together, they can be invincible. You can fight Snow White, and I can plan us an exit. Working together may actually benefit the both of us. Since when were you the smart one? Hello? You think I'll let my ass rot in here without doing some investigation? I didn't think you would believe in partnership. Hell nah. But in desperate times calls for desperate needs. So you in? I'm in. Hmm? So oh my gosh, they went hunting. Thanks. Do you want me to get more food more wood? There's no need. Okay, I'll be here if you need anything. Be gentle, woman. My arms are delicate. I am being gentle. Oh. Ow, do you want me to accidentally hit you again? Can't do that when you're tied up, idiot. Don't test me. You done? No, actually, untie me now. I need to pee again. Dude, seriously, you went like six times in the past two hours. You know what? Don't even look at me. I can't with your face right now. Ugh. You guys are bullies. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. She's harmless. She's just looking out for her ogre. Whose bird is it? Nobody's. She was traveling with the Rav. I mean, Gladiolus. But now she's alone again. <laughs> hey. You're always free to stay with us. I think now's the right time to tell her. 
Hey, Rain. There's something you need to know. I've been waiting to tell you this for quite a while now, and... And... You should talk to Sam. Huh? What? Talk to Sam. I... I don't think he wants to talk to me. Why not? I don't know. He just seems really distant. He barely even looked at me since he woke up. So are you gonna sit here and wait for him to come to you? That's the plan. That was the plan. A lot has happened. There's too much trauma. I just think he needs his space. But too many people left him, Rain. First you, then Ogre, and now Kenny. Do you think what he wants is space right now? Uh, not me. I'm not the one he wants to talk to. You're exactly who he needs right now. It's not my place to say this, but Sam never gave up looking for you when you were gone. Even when I've lost hope, he still, he still kept trying. You probably didn't think to realize this, but he cares a lot about you. And I know you do too. Go to him. Uh. Homesick. Mind if I join you? I'll take that as a yes. So, how's your neck? Does it still hurt? It's probably already healed by now. Maybe that's why it doesn't hurt at all. I'll look at it later. Um, look, I wanted to talk to you because to apologize for leaving two months ago. I wanted to tell you everything I did, but I walked away. I'm so sorry. That happened. You must have slipped my mind. Either ways, you don't have to apologize. I'm not mad at you. Y you're not? You left to protect us, right? Even if you didn't, I would have respected your decision. You really? Yeah. What? I didn't expect that response. But you should be upset with me. I said I'll always be there for you and straight up left. How can you f just forgive me? Because I know you've been dreading this moment ever since you left. How much you deserve to be hated by me. You've been through enough, so I'm choosing to forgive you. That's very mature of him. If that's the case, why won't you look at me? I've always anticipated this moment to be reunited with you. To see that warm smile regardless of everything terrible that happened. Even if you hate me for what I did, I wanted to see that smiles again. But I never once thought. <sighs> I'm looking now. I'll come to fear it. Something isn't right with him. With who? That guy? Is that even news? I'm talking about Samuel. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it? He's probably just grieving. You know, everyone acts differently when they're trying to get through stuff. Wait, did you guys argue? I hate to think it's my fault, you guys. No, we didn't argue. Yeah, then the talk went well. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, better than I expected. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Don't say that, silly, but if there's anything, I'm here. Thanks. Oh, by the way, since we're both girls, don't feel shy to ask for menstrual pads or tampons. I found a bunch of them while scavenging last week. Gotcha. Must be tough being a woman. You shouldn't give them such a hard time, then. They're giving me a hard time, treating me like a prisoner. Which they have every right to. This could go smoothly if you just stop acting ignorant and childish. Look at yourself. I'm sorry. I'll be more level-headed next time. Just because their values are different from ours doesn't make them bad people. Do you understand? So, 
they're interfering with our values. It doesn't matter if they're good people or not. It still makes them our enemy. We're such a bad combo. One's a coward and the other is too soft. No wonder Bella abandoned us without a second thought. <laughs> Losing mar your marbles already? Here, eat. Huh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> no. Feeding me is not a smart choice. Once I'm fully healed, I can take you all down and get out of here. And go where exactly? Back to your boss place? We're all going there, you know. Do you even think before you speak? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we met his Merc. Well, we met Oak's Merc as well. So, he is a very buffy-looking Merc. So, he's a softy, according to what Oak, Oak said. But, here's a, th what, here's a thing that kind of, like, tickled my brain a little bit. Sam. Sam chose to forgive Rain. And his smile that he gave Rain was kind of creepy. That's just me. I know he's like, I'm looking at you now. But obviously we know he's not being honest about how he felt about Rain just got up and left, you know? But maybe he's also forgiving her because she did save Ogre, his cat. I don't know. There's a lot going on and nothing is making sense so far. But I feel like we're almost there to that point where things will make sense. But we shall see. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!